Hello folks, and this is Kinky, and this is one of those pain in the butt missions. This required a sniper and a linguist, which means pretty much it's boomer and shit out as usual. Blah. Anyway, rescue the spy that's inside the tan castle, and he'll guide our way to the mainland, uh, where the next plan is to continue. And this mission requires extreme teamwork. This time it is definitely a, a team assault. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to show you is why I do not like this rifle system. This is one of the few times where it shows you how uh, having the multi-fire and no manual aim actually punishes you rather than helps you. They expect you to run up there and grab sniper rifle ammo. Now. You might have seen it already, but there are four snipers, uh, one on each tower, and uh, two sniper bullets kills shit out. So, and look how slow the thing trains to get up. I've already taken one of my two hits just getting the gun raised up, and I failed them. And I hadn't even gone too much anywhere. Anyway, we're back to start again. And you need the uh, sniper rifle because uh, you can't shoot the snipers without them. Because this game has no aiming up and down to it. It's only level. Uh, which means that, well, it's a pain in the ass. And like I said, they expect you to just run up here, kill this guy, not get sniped, and then turn around, still not get sniped. Oh, and just to prove that you can't go prone here, uh, every time that you zoom in here, you're facing the hill. So, uh, even, like, uh, Shadow is one of the highest stealth characters in the game, and yet, uh, like I said, he's just getting in the position here to try to get this on that sniper. And it shoots the hill, and already I'm getting sniped by that sniper right there. Isn't that a bunch of bull? Oh, a bunch of bull there. And yet they expect you to take out all the four snipers here. Uh, and like I said, th this level is rather frustrating, and it took me a good three or four attempts to get this done right. And I'm showing you right now what the what not to do part as well as some of the what to do right part so just be careful here and like I said this is just the what not to do's and what what and to do's and boom now that we've shown you what not to do, let's go ahead and show you how to do it right. Now, like I said, this part here is mandatory, and getting hit by him is generally not normal what happens, but it happens, and it's fine. It's lovable. That's what I was talking about before. Sometimes they'll just totally pwn you, and other times they'll just, like, wing you. And it's a pain in the butt. But pretty much, like I said, there's four snipers, and you have to pick up this sniper rifle up here. If you're quick enough, you can get them on the downhill, where it's nice of a run back. Uh, but if you have a high-speed character like a Squirrel or Shadow here, uh, it's pretty easy and it's pretty do doable. And this, and now we begin to use our teamwork here. We are going to use Boomer here as a distraction player. Uh, basically what his job is, is he's going to lure the sniper fire away so that Shadow can get set up and get shot, and get shutting him off the uh, towers. Because as you saw in the previous parts of this video, that uh, basically it takes forever for him to train up into position. And that's why I don't like the... Uh, just what they did with it. They made things too slow. 
But as you can see here, the snipers are engaging Boomer down there. He's pretty much safe and sturdy, but he'll retain aggro. So she out here can get in position and start taking out the enemy snipers. Now I was able to do this uh, on another attempt, and I'll and I didn't record it. Uh, but basically, you can do this with minimal to no hits. It's just you have to do everything just so right and so bang on that uh, one mistake and you're pretty much shot. But even if you get shot once, the mission is still doable and there's nothing too bad to worry about. In fact, the only hard part about this mission is the sniper rifles. So. Now I have to be careful here because there's still two more snipers to worry about. One sniper's way over there. Uh, you can barely see him, but he's next to the tree. See, I, I'll move a little closer so you can see him. You see him next to that pine tree there on the on the right, and uh, there's one on that tower there. And. Uh, what we're doing now is we've created aggro to the sniper that was on the far left tower there. So basically the enemy sniper will be concentrating his fire there. Now your first instinct would be to just go to the left and train up and shoot him. But this takes too long and he'll already have shot you. Uh, I'm Unfortunately, the tree is wider than it should be. But what we can do is uh, be very, very careful with that tree and not get sniped by that sniper there. Like I said, uh, the snipers are really douchey on this one. If uh, you can see them, they can see you, and they generally do. So you have to have a distraction. So that's what Boomer's job here is. He's pretty much playing the distraction. Now there's one guy on patrol uh, next to that little entrance there, so we have to kind of wait on him to show up. And we'll be patient with him. And uh, I apologize, but this video is going to be long. Uh, I didn't want to break this up into bits because this is one of the missions that I really wanted to show, kind of where 3 d went with the uh, teamwork. And you can kind of see where the tactics and the, you know, instead of how this could work in a co-op game or something could go. Basically, Boomer's doing that, and he's creating aggro. Now, as you can see, the uh, sniper there has adjusted his gun. So now he's aggroing Boomer. And the other sniper is still engaged with the Shadow, so we have to adjust the fire on him. So pretty much we just kind of have to make a lot of racket and a lot of noise, and hopefully the sniper will focus his aim on it. Now we know ba Boomer is pretty much safe and standard. Rather than focusing on the uh, left sniper, we'll work on the right sniper and work our way down. Like I said, don't go behind that corner there or you'll get sniped. Uh, that's where you want to position Boomer, is basically where Shadow is right here, and it'll aggro that one guy. And then you can put Shadow where Boomer is now currently, and just right along that uh, hedge line there is where you can train your shot. Now I'm just barely out of range for the uh, other guy. As you can see here, I. Uh, He's basically, I'm just barely out of range, which means I can't shoot him and he can't shoot me. See, I fired a shot and then he didn't die. So, we'll go ahead and use Boomer here as our distraction player. Once he shows, once he gets rid of his little pass here, and make sure everybody's in position. There's a guy in the corner there too, so don't rush in. There we go. 
Now you can use this hedge line here for natural cover. And since that guy up there is uh, pointed and distracted, we'll go ahead and uh, move Boomer into this distraction posi position. So he doesn't consider firing anywhere else but there. Let him know, hey, I'm here. We'll run up to this tree and then run back. Basically tell, tell the sniper, hey, shoot at me, shoot at me. Boomer has a little bit more HP than Shadow, so he can take the hit a little bit easier. It takes three sniper shots to take him out. So that sniper's now uh, aggroing on Boomer, as I said. Now, as you can see here, we got to position ourselves just right and fire, take him out. Now he's out. Now, since today I was pretty much uh, shot up all the heck, uh, we can just go ahead and use Boomer here and clear the path. Uh, enemies here, uh, they don't focus entirely on stealth. There is some stealth play in this, but it's more line of sight than anything. So if you just take your time, pick off your shots, you can kill one guy and the other guy not notice. Uh, or you can run up and stab him and then you can get four or five guys all of a sudden on you. So just be patient. Take them out. They do patrols and whatnot, as you can see there. And I, I apologize, but like I said, most of the video here is just getting through this hedge maze and this is the part where you can solo it it's not as stressful So anyway, um, let me know if you guys are interested in me doing an LP of uh, Army Man 3D or not. Uh, I said I would leave that option open. I, I'm not going to do Sarge's Heroes line, just, uh, but that is something open. Uh, and from there, I'll probably be moving back to uh, turn-based strategy games for a bit. I might do a couple of RPGs too. I know I got a couple of projects that have been waiting forever. Um, f waiting on my laptop power cord to arrive. And it's supposed to be here Monday, and hopefully it'll fix it. If not, that's going to be really annoying. Because uh, then it would be the, the, uh, it's the com laptop itself and not the uh, ex little extension battery charger. And I'd really stink because I don't know how to fix that. But like I said, if there's anyone that's interested or wants me to do an LP of something, let me know and I'll do it. Uh, just, I, I'm steering clear of uh, Koei games. Uh, like uh, Pacific Island Theater, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, those sorts. It's and it's nothing against them. It's just that, um, I mean, yeah, there's a hardcore fan base of seeing somebody play one thing, one thing of just pure text and stuff. Uh, but I don't really think I can. Ha I don't have the uh, Sanity to go that far. Uh, I do own Man's of Three Kingdoms 11, and even then, I only get so far down my bad ah, district. So, uh, so just kind of simple, uh, just pick up and go sort of things like Shining Force, uh, Landgresser, and all those sort of things. It's fine with me. And I might do another platformer. Uh, I haven't figured everything out for uh, that Marissa, Marissa World 2, Super Marissa World. 
two, I think it is called, or something to that effect. And I might not even have the patch thing. I was going to do like a couple of test runs of uh, Scarlet Weather Rhapsody, but unfortunately neither computer wants to run that. And I've tried uh, the Taohao 10.3 or whatever that is. I uh, can't remember the other fighting version. I know uh, there's Scarlet Weather Rhapsody and there's one other fighting version of it. But neither one I can't get to work. And I do have la Japanese language patch on my laptop. But it's that's not the issue. And I might, I don't know about Spelunky either because I know everybody and their brother has done a Spelunky video. So, uh, I mean, I might do a Spelunky video, but uh, honestly, I can't. I can't do a full run. I, uh, I think the farthest run I've ever had was uh, like eight, seven levels in. I mean, I had the the eyes, and then uh, got seven levels, and then plop, I would die in a pit or something. But anyway, back to Army Man. Uh, as you can see here, we're finally getting to the castle now, and we're stopped by three guys. Just pretty much do a bunch of side steppings and side rollings. And you're fine here. Now you can walk in this game, but it kind of is pointless. Even stealth wise, it's kind of pointless. Oh, and here's another med kit in case you need it. And also, you notice that there's a tan vest there, or rather, it's more brownish, and that's going to be for what we need for this mission. That's what the linguist is for. But we're not going to that part yet. Uh, right now, we're getting everybody in position. And now we're going to get the uniform. Make sure everybody's. Make sure Boomer here is healed up. He's the one who's going to be wearing the disguise. And uh, this is the first step here. Is go instead of going to the booby trap guy, go to the airfield first. See, it says airfield there. You need an English. Uh, basically, this is another noob trap. To uh, if you just decide to rut, bum rush the game, it'll mess you up. See, this guy here will start firing on uh, your sniper buddy. So rather than just Worry about worrying about him. You just take him out while you're in disguised form, and he won't bother you any. And here's the airfield with the uh, B-17 bomber, <laughs> or however bomber you want to call it. But I call it B-17 bomber because it's well, got it just pretty much reminds me of a B-17 bomber. I mean, if you've uh, seen. My compare and contrast of B-17 bomber moments, and you've seen LP so far, you can pretty much tell every time I run into this dang thing, I call it a B-17 bomber. As you can see, it kind of looks like one. Cheesy, but kind of. But we'll make sure uh, Shadow is safely behind the aircraft, or way over here in the corner. Either spot's fine. And now we'll move on to Boomer's part. And like I said before, always make sure that your partner is safe before you go into this part. This is restricted area, authorized personnel only. Well, this is the only other door we got. And you can see there's tan all over the place. So if you were to come in here with Shadow, and not having tan armor on, you get totally pwned. And this is the part where you have to do everything very, very carefully, or you insta-die. And I'm not joking. So we're up here to the cell. It says my castle's been like the castle's been booby trapped, and you have to run. See, there's the guy there. You have to make sure he's okay. If he dies, then you fail the mission. And unfortunately, he aggroed. That normally doesn't happen, but this time it did. So rather than waste your guys' time of going through this all over again, I'm going to go ahead and come back to where I left off. 
Okay, and we're back to where we left off. I put Shadow right behind the B-17 bomber, as you can see there. You can save, save fine and dandy. And we'll go ahead and resume where we are. There is something special to it, too. If, if uh, that one guy that you saw running towards the door, besides that spy, uh, gets to that door, uh, basically, if the spy gets to the plane, the spy will take him out for you. Uh, it says the castle has been booby trapped. Let's get out of here fast. And all of a sudden we get locked in the cell. Well, that's a good graphics glitch. Never did that one before. So let's try this one last time. But anyway, yeah, that's what I was talking about, being careful. But... But yeah, if uh, any tan get to the airfield and you hadn't cleared out the airfield, that uh, that spy will uh, take out any enemy runners in that B-17 for you, so you can have time to get your buddy in. But since we already have our buddy there, it's no biggie. Anyway, this time we'll make sure that to avoid the door, let the door open by itself, and he runs into the wall like silly silly goose. So down we go. And there's the booby trap. And as you can see here, that guy did not aggro, and the other guy ran to the door. And unfortunately, as you can see there, uh, the plane does shoot the uh, enemy, but the enemy shot the spy before the spy could get there. So we'll try this one more time. This time we killed the runner. And we made it this time. Like I said, that's all just luck and randomness of what happens. And pretty much if you dilly-dally too long in the castle, you, you auto-die as well. And uh, basically, to get into the plane, you have to stand next to the spy. Graphical glitch of him not going under the plane. But anyway... And now we'll take off, and uh, that'll be it for part six. So, uh, say later. Thank you.